Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and today I have the five most important training camp battles to watch on Hard Knocks. You ready to get into it? First one, Arden Key versus Max Crosby. We know that Arden Key added weight this offseason. He was 238 entering offseason, and now he's up around 260, which I like to see the fact that he's in year two. Because all year one, all I heard about and all I talked about was the upside in Arden Key. Well, now it's year two. Now you got to show up. And I think one of the reasons why he's like, oh, man, I got to turn those 11 quarterback hits into some extra sacks is because he hears and he sees Max Crosby. There is a reason this dude's already been given the nickname Mad Max. He has been impressive, and he's showing out, and he is a very, very athletic player, and I don't care that he's from Eastern Michigan. Like, I don't give a rat's you-know-what. Because here's the other argument I'm going to make about that. There was a guy, he played for the Raiders. Let me see if I can remember his name. Um, he played for Buffalo in college, and he was pretty good too. Just because you maybe don't play at the biggest school, also a school like Central Michigan, doesn't mean that you can't perform. These numbers are very impressive, okay? And the NFL Combine results of Max Crosby are really impressive. 4.66, 36 inch, 122 inches on his broad jump. Three cone drill, better than Arden Key. The 20 yard shuttle. These numbers prove to you that Max Crosby is a very, very talented player. And the fact that I'm going to be able to watch him all off season is really, really entertaining to me. So, I don't know. Apparently, I didn't say Eastern Michigan. Yeah? Cool. Eastern Michigan. That's where Crosby went. Guys, I don't even know half the stuff I'm talking about on here. Who will be better this season? Type K for Key or type C for Crosby. There is no doubt that I'm going to be watching this battle all offseason long, all training camp long, and heck, preseason, hard knocks. I'm going to be looking for it. So, who's going to be better? Type K for Key Type C for Crosby. I want you guys to be typing below because when we have only 13 sacks the year before that, there's a reason why we're going out and picking up players with high upside like Key and Crosby. But you got to get more sacks. Need more sacks. Yep. Ryan Grant versus Hunter Renfro. Okay, right now, Ryan Grant is listed as the starting slot wide receiver, which I'm not ultimately too surprised by because he was highly regarded by Jay Gruden, John's brother, in case you don't know that. And the fact that Ryan Grant is the veteran, I think Gruden likes that a little bit. Now, we've heard a lot of coach speak about Hunter Renfro being a very intelligent player, but we also saw a lot of that when he played for Clemson. And the fact that these coaches want to get Renfro involved, I'm excited to see that. This battle, though, is ultimately going to come down to who can build the best and I think quickest chemistry with Derek Carr. Chemistry is very, very important. It's probably why I'm still on dating apps. So, Ryan Grant, okay? When you look at the last four years, 35 catches, 334 yards, and a touchdown. 2017 was his best year. Realistically, if you could give me the 2017 version of Ryan Grant as our starting slot receiver, I would actually be more than okay with that because I don't really want more than 45 catches going to Hunter Renfro or more than 45 catches going to Grant because we have A.B., we have Tyrell Williams, we have these other options. Heck, Josh Jacobs, Jalen Richard. But I also want to talk about Hunter Renfro and what he did last year at Clemson. Okay, 49 catches, 544 yards. Sure, he's been kind of spoiled with some really, really solid quarterbacks the last two years, but hey, that's what you're going to get at Clemson. Now, at his entire career at Clemson, has also been very good. 15 touchdowns, and I've already seen that you guys love the third and Renfro, you know, nickname, so we're going to stick with it. 2,133 yards, but it's coming up clutch in those big games. He's a big reason why Clemson has two natties uh, to their list. So let's compare these players from their athletic standpoint, okay? So sure, you're going to have to go back a little bit in time, but when Ryan Grant did do the NFL Combine, he had a 4.64. Hunter, be Hunter beat him. Vertical jump, I mean, it's a half an inch, right? I mean, come on. We give every every single time you're talking about inches, you're going to give yourself a half an inch. Am I right? Broad jump, advantage Ryan Grant. The three cone drill, advantage Ryan Grant. And then the 20-yard shuttle, advantage Ryan Grant. So, in my opinion, from a slot wide receiver standpoint, I would actually be would rather him be better at the three cone. I would rather him be better at the 20-yard than just the straight 
40-yard dash. So who's going to have more catches in 2019? I do think Ryan Grant will be the week one starter, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So type G for Grant, type R for Renfro. Who's going to have more catches in 2019? Be an overachiever. Tell me how many catches that you think Grant's going to have, and tell me how many catches that you think Hunter Renfro will have this season. Next battle to watch, Brandon Marshall versus Markel Lee. So the Raiders signed Marshall during free agency. And heck, I remember doing this live video with Isaiah Crowell. And then all of a sudden it was like, holy shit, we signed Brandon Marshall too. And I'm excited for the addition of Brandon Marshall because if you look at his stats, it's like down year and then a year that he has 100 tackles, right? Well, technically this is the year because he had a down year last year that he's going to have over 100 tackles. Also, Markel Lee, 68 tackles last year for the Raiders. Second on the team behind only Whitehead. He also added 12 pounds because the coaches were like, dude, you got to bulk up a little bit. We want you around 250. Now, this battle for me between Marshall and Lee is going to come down to who can actually cover receivers, who can cover tight ends, who can cover running backs because it's a pass-happy league. Markel Lee, 68 tackles. I know that he can tackle. His biggest weakness is being able to be average in the passing game. Sorry, he gets roasted on little end arounds and little slants. Also, and then you're looking at Brandon Marshall. I know that he can tackle, but he's also a player who's really struggled in pass coverage. So when I look at Marshall, when I look at Markel Lee, who's going to be able to come up and who's going to be able to protect, I guess, our secondary, even though it is strong, but you have to at least be able to cover in today's NFL. So you have Markel Lee, you have Brandon Marshall. Lee's younger at a 23, Marshall's 29. The advantage right now, I think, in terms of talent, I do think Brandon Marshall's a more talented player. 423 career tackles to Markel Lee's only 93. But years with Oakland, Markel does have the advantage there. I want to see, though, how this matchup kind of goes down during all training camp and on hard knocks. So Markel Lee versus Brandon Marshall. Who's going to have more starts this season? So I talked about this one a little bit on my last Raiders report, and people were like, Brandon Marshall's going to play more games. Markel Lee's going to play more games. So let's settle it once and for all. Type BM for Brandon Marshall or type ML for Markel Lee, who will have more starts this upcoming season. Fourth battle that I am glued to, Daryl Worley versus Trayvon Mullen. Also, guys... Please start spelling Trayvon Mullen's name correctly in the comments. Like, I have seen just so many different ways to spell Trayvon Mullen's name. And that's coming from me. Like, think about that. For me to get upset about spelling, you know that you guys are just butchering his name. Now, Worley is slotted as the cornerback, too, next to Conley. But Mullen was drafted 40th overall this year, and all reports about Mullen have been very, very solid. So could Mullen actually earn a starting role? If he has a solid camp. Now, when I look at Worley's numbers from last year, the seven pass breakups, one interception, like he didn't really get to play all that much. And now that he's entering his second year with the Raiders, there's a reason why they brought him back. John Gruden likes this guy. John Gruden has recently has talked about his toughness and how the one game Worley pops out his shoulder and the entire time while the offense is on the field, Worley's sitting there trying to pop it back in so he can get back in. I can already see John Gruden getting hyped up and like he's probably like, yo, Worley, you want me to pop that back in for you? Let's get you on the field. And that's why I like Worley. And that to me brings a lot of toughness. But I also love me some Trayvon Mullen. Last year at Clemson, 36 tackles, two sacks, an interception, three pass breakups. Yes, that defense was very talented. Yes, the up front of Clemson is getting after quarterbacks. But Trayvon Mullen is a very solid, very solid cornerback. What I love the most about this kid he shows up in big games against Alabama and the national title game. Six tackles, the most he had in a single game last year. His only interception, a sack and a forced fumble. I want players who show up when it matters the most. And I think one of the reasons why we went out and drafted Cleveland Furl, Trayvon Mullen, Hunter Renfro, is because these guys, they show up when it matters the most, and it's one of the reasons why they went out and won a national title. So here's some NFL combine results, okay? Worley versus Trayvon Mullen. Speed, Trayvon Mullen. Vertical jump goes to Worley. Broad jump, I'm not good at math, but those look the same. Three cone drill, 20-yard shuttle. Unfortunately, Trayvon Mullen didn't get to run those 
But when I look at players, when I look at upside, I think Worley might actually have a higher upside in terms of being able to be like a better nickel cornerback, cornerback two. Trayvon Mullen to me though, from like an actual career standpoint, I think has a higher trajectory. But for this season alone, Worley might be the safer option. So who's going to play more snaps for the Oakland Raiders in 2019? I want you to type W for Worley or type M for Mullen. Now, I have some fun here on the Raiders Report, and I always like to interact with you guys, and I do look at the comments, and I do see what you guys put, okay? So I asked everyone, which rookie are you most excited to watch? And for those of you that haven't already commented, please do. I'll look at them again. But I wanted to take some of my favorite answers and put them on the show. So Sky's on it, says Jacobs, and according to that, I'm guessing that you like the fist, but hey, to each their own. Robert Running Rabbit says Furl is the most exciting rook. Know the team. I'm guessing you meant on. I do know the team. At least I think I do. And uh, most exciting to watch. Okay, like it. Manuel Torres. You already know what I'm going to say. It's going to go with Crosby. I get a Kevin Green vibe from him. Fair enough. Let's go to Regine Smith. Get a picture. Bell. If they hit on that pick, our front office will be legendary. And I actually really like this. Because you're right. If we hit on Quentin Bell and then all the other players turn out to be like who they are, that's a really big difference. So I, re I really like that answer. Let's go to Max Sermon. All right, Tavon Colney balled out for the fight in Irish this year against elite competition. He will make the 52 man, 52, good, and will see playing time at the linebacker court. So 52-man roster, 53, but uh, I like the Coney pick a lot. And let's go to the last one, maybe. I don't know if it's the last one. I don't think it is. Joshua Scott. He's going to go with Jacobs, possessive, into it, and Antonio Brown also. If Antonio Brown was a rookie, I'd be all for it. You know what, though? That's why this show is about you guys. I appreciate it. I'm sorry that I'm going to pick on you, but you guys definitely pick on me, and I think we have that relationship to be able to do that. So, all right. Now I want this question. Should I start doing IG Lives more? So yesterday, I did an IG Live with Samoa Raiders, so shout out to him. We had some fun. We had over 60 people live on it at one time, which is really cool. And I want to be able to interact with you guys a lot more, not just on YouTube, but also on my IG. So do you want me to start doing more type P for please or type D for just, just don't? So should I start doing more IG Lives? Let me know in the comments section. Last battle that I'm watching, running back three. Who's it going to be? Because I think this is one that is the most fun to talk about because it's Chris Warren. Like, the best five running backs in the NFL are Chris Warren, Chris, and then Warren at three, Chris Warren the third at four, and then, like, Christopher Warren at five. Like, I understand you guys are excited about him, but Doug Martin last year was actually pretty good for the Raiders. Like, he led the team in rushing yards, 723. You know whose name you don't see on this list? Doug Martin. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Chris Warren, I'm losing my mind. Marshawn Lynch at 376. Doug Martin filled in nice for him. And then also, he was also our carries leader with 172 with 4.3 yards per carry. Like, I understand you guys don't like the fact that he fumbles, but Doug Martin was actually pretty solid for the Raiders last season. But there is Chris Warren, who is like essentially Bigfoot to the Raider Nation. I just kind of came up with that on my own. Like, he is this mythical dude who could be anything, right? Could even be a boat. 58 carries, 292 yards, two touchdowns. He was very good in the preseason. But being good in the preseason does not make you good in the actual NFL. Just like, let's get that clear. Okay, Josh Jacobs is the no-doubt running back one. Like, there is no doubt in that. So who's going to be that running back three? You have Doug Martin, who's 30 years old. We've kind of already seen his career path. Or you go with the young guy at 23 with Chris Warren, who's 6'2", 260 pounds, and is a truck. Or you can go the safer route and Doug Martin. Do you want to play it safe with Doug Martin? Or are we rolling the dice with Chris Warren? So, who will make the 53-man roster? Or, according to one of our viewers, the 52-man roster? I want you to type below, CW3 for Warren, DM for Doug Martin, or if you think that both of these players will make the 53-man roster, type B for both. Now, let's do a quick recap here of the training camp battles you need to watch on Hard Knocks, okay? Arden Key versus Max Crosby. Who do you got? Ryan Grant versus Hunter Renfro. Who's going to be that slot wide receiver? Brandon Marshall versus Markel Lee. Who's going to start more games there? Daryl Worley versus Trayvon Mullen. Who's going to be lining up next to Garyon Conley? And then Doug Martin 
versus Chris Warren, who's going to be that running back three. Will both of those guys make the final roster? So which battle are you most excited to watch? I want you guys to comment below. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, if I put this video on Twitter, let me know which training camp battle are you most excited to watch. Now I'm going to end the show here with a my bookie read. Okay, I want to give a shout out to them, and I want to give a shout out to everybody who's watched it this video this far. If you get signed up right now with my bookie, chatsports.com slash Raiders, and if you use our promo code Go Raiders for 100% deposit bonus, I am going to hook you up. Okay, so send me a screenshot that you signed up with my bookie at Mitchell Rand 365 on Twitter and on Instagram. And I have something for you that you, I promise, I promise you are absolutely going to love. Four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? Four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky heads, news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.